G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Look, Puffy Heart Day, yay. <laughs> so this is my original four Puffy Heart mold. And then I've got the bigger one, the nine, because so many of you love this and you were buying two at a time. I thought, look, I'll just make a nine. <laughs> and then, um, you know, you can have the bigger one if you want or you can have the smaller. The hearts are exactly the same size, no difference there. So um, this is a two-fold video. A, I wanted to show you how I make my puffy hearts. And B, um, I need some more giveaways for um, for when people buy multiple molds. I try to add a puffy heart if, if possible. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, uh, this one is going to be copper. These are going to be gold. And then these can be silver. All right? That's what I'm going to do. And they're all going to have a black base because I don't want to be pouring different colours in each one. So I'm just going to make up a batch of black um, and then I'll add copper glitter to those. I'll add the gold super sparkle to those and I'll add the white super sparkle to the silver. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, now for dusting, I'm going to dust just the little hoops on top. So these ones are going to be in the silver by Art Tree Creations. That's aluminium bright or if you're in the states aluminum um, and then we've got the rich gold as well and we have the copper so I'm going to get started with that um, actually uh, yeah, I'll start down here work my way up so I'm just going to use my little brush and I'm going to just try and get in, in here It'll take me a little while now I don't worry too much if I get a little bit of overspray in here because you know it's going to be a silvery sort of a color anyway so I'm not fussed if I get a bit of overspray it's going to dust in there dust in there actually maybe I can do let's do let's do four silver hey that way we've got four silver, four copper, and then we've got five in the gold, just to make it a little bit more even. Okay, so that's that done. That's all I want to do with that. I'll put that aside. And then um, I'll just wipe my little brush off, like so. And we'll move on to the, the gold. I won't bore you with making you watch me do all of these. So, yep, that's all I'll do take me very long will it oh look I'll just do it by the time I stop um you know and then record again and then put it on you know four times speed and then oh my gosh I'll, I'll just do it all right it won't take me too long go make yourselves a cup of coffee or something while you're waiting all right so that's the gold one done these are really bright these are, these are not marker powders these are metallic powders I don't know what the difference is but anyway all right let's just wipe that off again now clean it not that much is stuck on there and then we'll go with the copper look at that copper copper and then once I've done these um, I will just mix up some black now these particular molds the dry resin on there these the, the puffies take oh gosh was it 15? Oh, now I can't remember. I'm going to have to weigh one. It's either half an ounce or one ounce per puffy. I'm going to have to go and weigh them <laughs> oh, to see. Because then I need to, you know, times that by, what have I got, 13. And work out how much black resin I need. So I need to go and grab one and weigh it. I'll be right back. Here's a couple I made the other day. Uh, this one's got blue with some bluey glitters and that one's the the purple with some pinky purple glitters. So yeah, 15 um, grams each, so half an ounce each, ish. So times 15 grams times 13 is uh, just under 200 grams. So I'll make up 200 grams, which is um, not quite a cup, maybe three quarters of a cup, a bit more. Anyway, 200 grams, all right? And uh, we'll make up some gorgeous puffy hearts. I'll just mix up my resin now. So I've got my my resin there. It's the Platinum 360 Plus. 
Uh, I did 150 grams of A and 65 grams of B. So I've got 215 grams, which is a little bit more than I need, but that's fine. Um, now I am using the Color Passion Black. I actually have got a discount code for Color Passion. So thank you to the lovely Kim Gal. So I will link it down in the description for you if you want any of their amazing products. And how much will I use? I'm just going to do a scoop of black. Put it in there. Color Passion. This one is Ebony Luster. So what I do is I stir my resin for four minutes. When I get to the three minute mark, I will stop, clean off my stick and add my color and then press go again on my timer <laughs> uh, so that I'm still mixing for four minutes. But the last minute has got my black in it. Otherwise, I'm standing there stirring for four minutes and then I've got to add the black and then stir for another minute. So then it's five minutes. Like that extra minute's important, hey, you guys. Like you need that minute. <laughs> you just do. So that's what I do. So when the, when the timer goes off, this one's got a little bit of a, has got a little bit of a luster to it. It's not just a, a matte black like the others I've used. That's pretty cool. I've never used this black before. I just had to, just had to peel the top little paper off it, which seals it. And um, oh, they sent me, Kim sent me this amazing glitter. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I think I've shown it to you in a few of my videos already. All right. Five seconds to go. There we go. All right. Let me turn this off. Now I'm just going to divide my resin into my three cups here, one for each color. Okay. Okay. All set. Now the sparkle is really strong. So, and it's very, very lightweight, as in it just flies away everywhere. So be really careful with it. Um, now, two, which one? This is the silk. This is what I've got for the silver. The, the silver and the copper have both got the same amount. And then the one with the gold's got a little bit more because there's five of those to do. Now, just like seriously, a tiny bit, okay? Tiny bit. So be careful with it that it doesn't fly away. I might not even use all of that. You can see it floating around in the air. So give that a mix in. I know it doesn't look like very much, but it'll sink to the bottom anyway. Um, and then on the bottom of your puffies, you'll just get this little sprinkling of silver or gold or, well, that one's more chunky. Can you see it in there? You don't want, well, I personally don't like too much in there, but you know, it's up to you how much you want to put in. But like I said, it does sink. Um, so it will sink to the, the bottoms of these. Um, yeah, let's, let's do them. Uh, we'll do them. We'll pour them. <laughs> All right, here we go. So this is the silver one. So I like to sort of just go not all the way up just yet. We'll pour it and let it kind of level out and settle. And then we'll come back to it. I'll put that there. Just let it kind of flow into the, the little bales there. Let's do the gold one. Let's wipe off my little spoon here. So I'm double dipping. Tiny bit into the gold. I don't even need that much. Put the lid on. Okay. Just going to wipe that little spoon as well while I'm over there. And then we'll mix that in. How are these going? They're flowing in. If you get a little bit more gold or a little bit less gold, it really doesn't matter. It's you know, it's hard to know exactly how much to put in, but you can see that little sprinkling there of gold. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, it like I said, it does it does sink 
So, um, yeah, you don't want to put too much in. Oops. Holding my cup wrong. <laughs> now I've made a mess on my clean mould. It's the first time I'm using this particular mould. Yeah, clean it off. All right, this is much easier doing it this way. Pull. And then you can use the stick to catch your drips. Hopefully I can remember which are which. Whoops, that one's a bit full. Okay, so those ones have got the the gold. These ones have got the silver. I'll just finish off these ones. Now you can see how that's sort of gone into the the little bail there, but I'm just gonna pop a little bit more in each. I like to dome them, like really fill them up, but not, you know, you don't want them overflowing, but I do like them to have that little dome so that you don't get that sharp edge on the back that needs sanding if you just put, put a little bit more in there. Oh, that's the gold one. <laughs> Never mind. I couldn't tell. <laughs> I'm talking too much. I'm not concentrating. All right. So these, see I'm just drizzling a little bit more on. Just be really careful when you're getting to them being full, full, full. Just drizzle a little bit more on. I don't know what that one's going to look like. It might have just a, it'll be basically gold. It'll just have a tiny little bit of silver in it. Okay, so the leftovers, what I think I'll do with the leftovers is I might just mix the two together and make another puffy that I've got over there. All right, here we go. Put a bit more of the gold in. Again, just filling them up so that that bale is full and that they dome ever so slightly. With my lights shining down, I get this little white shine from the light just on the very edge there and then I can see whether or not they're full enough when that little when the light shines on that edge there and I get that white glimmer of light and then I know that it's full oh my gosh making a mess a little bit more gold in you all right so that's about it I think those ones are done now moving on to this one so this one I don't have any copper sparkle but I've got this uh, Jupiter Glitter, which is Divine uh, by PDB Creative Studios. So, I don't need a spoon for that. I'm just going to, it's got this, it's got three holes on that side and then this side's just open. I'm getting glitter everywhere. All right, let's just pour some in there. Now these ones, I don't mind if it's a little bit kind of more chunky on the bottom because it's a different type of glitter. So I don't mind the chunkiness, but again, I don't want it to be too, too chunky. Clean that off. Give it a good stir because these are big, you know, big um, glitters. They'll they'll sink pretty much straight away. So we'll give it a good stir, and then pour and a stir. That way, each one's getting some glitter. So it won't be like as evenly distributed as the fine glitter. It'll be more, more sort of a chunky in the bottom of the heart, I'm, I'm assuming. More like these ones, I guess, which are still really pretty, but just a you know, different look to that. And again, just take your time when you're getting towards the end there. Resin is self-leveling, so it will make its way all the way around in its own time. And then just dome a little bit. Just waiting for you. Come on, you, hurry up. Hurry up. Just let it do its own thing. If you try and pour it in there, you probably, you, may, you know, if, unless you've got a really steady hand, you may overflow it and then make a mess. So just let it do itself. Do it itself. Okay, I think we're 
think we're good there okay those look good those look good um just gonna pop a little bit more in this one this is the another well, gold and a little bit of the silver just in these two okay i think we are good to go now the last thing i do um you can spray them with alcohol if you want to because they're doming i don't know if you know this because they're doming on the edges they're not totally flat they're doming so they're just hanging on to the edges if you spray too much alcohol on these those the surface tension on those edges you'll break that and the resin may just all flow out so be really careful if you're going to do that with the alcohol um, I use my little tiny torch look at, you can't even see the flame it's so little now I'll just torch in the center just like that just to get those bubbles from the center I'm not going anywhere near the thin bale I'm just doing that in the center where the resin's deep I'm not going to go up here you know where the bale is quite thin and the resin is close to the silicone so I'm not going to do that um, and then again in a few minutes I'll just come back and I'll just do the centers again you don't really need to you mean they're the backs but it just gives a nice finish to the back I'm going to clean up my mold I will be able to unmold these in about eight hours so um, yeah hope you've enjoyed that the making of the puffy hearts and uh, I'll see you all for the unmolding in about eight hours okay they are ready which ones shall we start with? I think all I'll do is I'll just get them all out. So these are the copper ones. No peeking. No peeking. <laughs> and uh, I can just wipe that with baby wipe and it'll get that bit of glitter and a little bit of marker powder off. All right. So those are the coppers. These top ones were the gold. And this one. And this one, which I put a tiny bit of silver in. And then these ones down here are the silver ones from memory. Wasn't too long ago. <laughs> All right, so there we go. So two different sizes for those that are interested. All right, shall we have a look? All right, this is the copper. Ooh, look at that. That is divine hope you can see properly it looks a bit dark when I look into my screen but I mean they are dark yes but you can see little hits of the copper and the gold and it's so pretty so they should all be they should all be the same really let's see if I can fit another one on there there you go there we go so there's the copper oh, they look really pretty I'm gonna do those again <laughs> I love those oh my gosh um, after after I'm done here, I'll um, I'll move you around a little bit so that you can see them in a better light. Okay, uh, silver. Let's do silver. Oh, that's really pretty too. It's like a little galaxy going on in there. Look at that a little sprinkle of stars there in the galaxy. What do you think? so pretty but you can see what I mean by like I don't want too much sparkle in there I just want a little hint of color ah, just, <laughs> just drop them all <laughs> um, yeah that, I just wanted a hint of color because you've got a lot of the silver there so just a tiny little sprinkling of silver is all I want and the gold look at the gold I've done the gold quite a few times because I think people like the gold but to tell you the truth I'm loving on these copper ones with the slightly chunkier glitter i am look at that let me know which one you like the gold the silver or the copper maybe you just like them all so obviously this one i would put like a silver chain on it this one gold chain and then this one might be really nice with a piece of tan coloured leather, that, or, you know, faux leather, that sort of thing, which would be amazing. Actually, oh, I wonder if I've got any. Let me just go and have a little look. I found a few things in my craft drawer. 
This is the one I was thinking about. It, come, it came like that with a silver thingy on it, but you could just get yourself a roll of this stuff. Now what I think is a good idea is just to fold it in half like that and then grab your piece and then just hook that through there like that and there you go look at that or if you prefer to have have it the other way you can hook it that way so that's what it would look like cool hey I mean you could even use this one no one's going to see the back if it's got silver on it you can just buy these little straps from Amazon okay so there's that one um, and I've just got this little silvery one I mean you, you could if you wanted to just thread it but because the bale's going that way you know it's it's going to sort of twist on you so but you can all by all means do it that way I just like doing it this way so again fold that in half poke that through and then pick that up and okay I've done it the wrong way <laughs> I was trying to do it opposite what did I do that time Poked it through that way. Okay, let's go this way. Poke it through that way. Pick up the two strands. There, that's better. <laughs> I've got it right now. Um, that's it. And then you can just tie it around your neck that way. See, I just think that looks nicer that way, but that's just me. Personally, you can do it however you want. And then I've only got this piece of black, but... Um, you know, it'll work with the gold. I, I don't have a gold chain. Well, I've got one, but um, you know, is this the way I did it or is this the way? Oh, God. I can't remember. I think it's this way. <laughs> I think it's that way. Oh, gosh. It was like a minute ago. <laughs> so there you go. All right. So that's the gold, the copper, and the silver. All right. Now, oh, gosh, how am I going to get you down off the tripod? Hang on. Here we go. <laughs> Got you down off the tripod. <laughs> so that's what they look like. There's the copper. A little bit of gold sparkle. A little bit of silver sparkle. And a little bit of this. And a little bit of that. <laughs> Who does that dance? I love it. All right. So anyway, that's them. Um, come over here, different light again. Right, right, well, that's me done. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. And look, it's simple, you know, and I think they're really pretty, really elegant. Um, I think a wide variety of people would like this sort of thing because it's not too blingy, it's not too bright, it's not too in your face. Okay, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I will see you all again. Real soon for the next video. <laughs> I can put them all over again. Okay. Take care, guys. Bye for now.